Tonight, I get to put on my radio personality hat. And Bodie gets to put on his radio personality hat. Put it on, buddy. I'm about to go out to dinner with my friend Clark Adams. We're gonna have a discussion about the radio show we're about to be on. What? Yes, we're gonna be on a radio show. It's his show. He is a DJ for the community radio at Guilford College in Greensboro, North Carolina. Now we're gonna take you back to 1938. We're gonna jump on the air and we're gonna to listen to and play a bunch of songs from the 40s and 50s country and western, western swing era. The reason we're doing that is because he's let me dedicate this show to Richard Jennings, my second cousin, who I call an uncle, who was my earliest influence when it came to playing the guitar. Richard played in a band with Roger Miller in Korea. Those were the days. That would be back in the early 50s. Right after the war was over, they were over there together and they entertained uh, the troops by playing the songs you're about to hear. So we're gonna, we're gonna call him, which I did earlier, so we're gonna cut to me calling him Rishard. Hey, Martin. How are you, son? I just fixed up. See if I could find your phone number. Well, I had to run out to the store and uh, do some errands, so I, I ran out of the house. Well, now, you're not out of breath, are you? With all <laughs> that running? <laughs> I actually took a car. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, that's better. I want you to think back to all those uh, years ago when you used to play music. Yeah. Music in Korea and uh, any time before yeah. and after that. And yeah. give me the names of some of the songs that you guys played and who the artists were. Roger Miller, of course, was with us. Yeah. He wrote a lot of his own stuff, even then. Oh, really? Yeah, he'd sit down and said, oh, I got an idea for a song. And he'd sit down in five minutes and write a song. Oh, man. And then put some kind of tune to it and start singing it. But he sang a lot of the old Bob Wills number. He'd he done a lot of his songs, but it was all uh, old Western swing song, Pee Wee King. And we done a lot of Western swing, Lord have mercy. And I like Western swing. Yeah, yeah. Especially the steel work. All right, so I'm heading, uh, heading over here to Sona's Kitchen, which I hope is open. Sona's Kitchen's an Indian cuisine and uh, it's quite delicious. I've been here once before. Hey, look, we're on. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Welcome to Dr. Jive's show. Let's go eat. All right. So I'm here with my friend Clark Adams, as I've told you um, numerous times already. Did you meet Clark Adams? They were here. What we play tonight, you will not hear played nearly anywhere else. Yeah, edit a lot of this out. I'll edit pretty much all this out until we get to the actual station and I go into character. Then I'm cool with you doing it. Uh, he's, uh, he's being very incognito tonight, but we're going to draw him out of his shell. You're going to do like this radio, radio. You. This, is a, this is a must have. You get your go juice, huh? That's right. Because when Dr. Job gets fired up, this is, this is the sort. This is my adult beverage of choice. We are legitimate. We got the right. reggae going. Purple rain, purple rain. So here's the thing. Why would you let fear stop you from doing anything that you want to do? I might actually be afraid of being on the radio. Might come off stupid. Might sound like a hick. Whatever. Don't let your fears prevent you from enjoying the world, from enjoying the opportunities that come your way. Because when opportunities come your way and you seize up thinking you can't do it, it won't get done and you'll miss it. Do not miss it. Get out there and do it. So right now we're going to take you back to 1938. Roy Acuff and his crazy Tennesseans and the classic Wabash Cannonball on the Dr. Jive radio show. When they really get together, there's a 
lot of fun. They all know the other fella packs a gun. Everybody does his best to act just right. Cause there's gonna be a funeral if you start a fight. They struggle and they shuffle till broad daylight. Yes, they all go native on a Saturday night. And right now, sending this out to Bill in Lexington from 1958, Mr. Hank Lachlan, and send me the Pella you dream on. Send me the Pella Buchanan having a big time up here tonight. Thanks for being here. We are indeed. We're having a good time. We're, we're talking about the way things used to be back in 1960 whatever. Sitting around playing the guitar, learning how to play these songs. And uh, my uncle had a, I guess it was some sort of knockoff electric guitar. It had so many switches. I think he had four pickups. But the, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't all that expensive. You might say uh, there was a, a zip code between the strings and the fretboard. But he managed to make that thing, I don't know how he did it, I tried to play it, it broke my fingers. But uh, he could make it sound sweet doing that stuff. But the, some of the songs, gosh Martin, I was just thinking about a while ago, I can't even remember the names of half of them. I've done a lot of Hank Williams. Sure you did. Numbers. Hank Snow was real, he was my favorite, I guess, of all of them at that time. The thing about my, my Uncle Richard was that he was quite a cut up. And he, I didn't know, I was a little kid, he would, he would sing these funny lyrics. I, I just thought that the way they were going. Um, but he would sing, I hired a man to work on my car. He got hold of the spark plug wire. He's moving on. I, for years, I thought that was the way the song went. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it really go? That big eight wheel rolling down the track mean the true loving daddy ain't coming back cause I'm moving on. I'll soon be gone. You were flying too high for my little That you're my every dream That but you're afraid each thing I do Is just some evil scheme take you back to 1950 with a classic song. If You've Got the Money by Lefty Frizzell. And Richard used to always say he loved the uh, steel guitar, but he told me just the other day that the band he played in, they didn't have a pedal steel. But nobody at that time had come out with pedal steels yet, so that was, those were brand new. That's something new. Oh, okay. Like twin neck steel, no, no pedals. They hadn't invented that yet. I'm like, what? You mean there were steel players that just didn't have the pedals, but they still made all that whiny Hawaiian noises? Lap steel. Absolutely. That's the way it used to be. That's the way this one might be. I'm not sure this one has it on there, but that was just a little anecdote. All the way back to 1950 tonight on the Dr. Jive Show. It's 1109, 90.9 WQFS, and the legendary Lefty Frizzell. This is how it's supposed to sound. A little twin fiddle for you. There it is. I'm looking for that. The money, I've got the time. We'll go honky tonking that we'll have a time. Well, I seen his liquor came and he said I'm tough. I think I wanna taste that powerful stuff. One of them, uh, he was telling me the other day about uh, when he was in Korea, how he had his uh, his wife ship him his uh, his Gibson J45. I had quit playing because um, I had a Gibson J45 that would be worth a ton of money today if I still had it. But like a fool, while I was in Korea, I had my mother get somebody to box it up and ship it to me over there. Uh -oh. And that was so stupid. And whoever done the crating done a beautiful job. 
The only thing I didn't tell them to do was back off the strings. Uh oh. So when I got the guitar out of the case, it was split mm. into you know, the whole box was split on, from not not down the middle, from side to side, uh. all the way down. It was right. I got fifty bucks oh. from the post office. Oh man, that's terrible and news. That, Somebody said the other day they sold a J-45 uh, at an auction for five, over $5,000. And, you know, it took him years to get another guitar, so he didn't play. So all these songs, I know the first verse and not much else because he would go, he'd sing the first verse in the chorus, and he'd go, I can't remember the rest. It's been too long. Uh, we're talking about music tonight, and uh, I'm all over the place. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. Well, you know what? I just want to say that it has been a pleasure being in here, listening to these songs. I have not quit smiling the whole time. It reminds me of my childhood. I'm sitting in the kitchen with my mom playing her little transistor radio, uh, eating. I'm eating my Frosted Flakes here in these songs. I'm also growing up listening to these songs, trying to learn them on guitar to a guy that uh, did the journeyman work of actually being in a band with Roger Miller and just learning from the master in that situation. This has been a great experience uh, and I do appreciate being here. And I hope all you people out there have enjoyed listening to me ramble on about the past.